Welcome guys to our episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing another cheese deck because well yesterday I was playing some Digger Piercing Archer which was very high skill so to compensate for that I'm gonna lower the bar. Uh, once again I'm gonna be playing some cheese so as you probably know my favorite cheese card is Freeze and that's why we're gonna be playing it in today's video it's gonna be a uh, Cemetery with freeze, it's gonna be fantastic. And my opponent will be playing Steel Bait, which is like the perfect uh, dynamic possible. It's gonna be a cheese deck against a very solid and well rounded deck. Actually, he's not gonna be playing Steel Bait, he's gonna be playing Digger Poison for some reason. And that's gonna be fine for me because right now he has used his poison. I would love these archers not to die, but. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm gonna just go with Swordsman in Cemetery because it's pretty much the best timing for me to deal damage. I'm gonna play a freeze against this bomb girl, try to get as much damage as possible. Unfortunately, this Swordsman was still on top of his defense, so that's not gonna be the case today. I think the better play would be to play a... Okay, I, I would love this bomb curl to die at some point the thing is i have a nice damage lead and it's gonna be very hard for him to come back because uh, well he has only digger and poison and if he plays poison ever on offense he will be punished by cemetery on defense i mean that very sums up pretty well and since he's gonna be having digger i'm not worried about him making a huge comeback unless i make some major mistake which obviously I hopefully won't, so I'm gonna be playing Super Devil here to predict his Bomb Girl and I predicted his Bomb Girl but not in the right place, however Super Devil still will get the job done and will clean up this Swordsman, so he's gonna be playing actually Digger with Poison, he's very desperately trying to get this comeback going, that's actually nice play but he used a Poison and you know the drill, I'm gonna be playing Cemetery and that's gonna be a lot of damage regardless. He plays rolling still, it wasn't enough, this tower will go down and right now he's pretty much all in on his push. So that was a very nice find of us right here right now. I'm gonna be playing right now Super Devil, I'm gonna follow it up with a Swordsman and Cemetery right here. Well, two towers are contested by the Swordsman, my Cemetery Skeletons will stack up and they will stack up fast so they will just overwhelm this tower and I think that's just GG right here right now so that was a nice game number one to show off how this deck works in general let's hop to the game number two and our second game will be against Mibu who has 20 medals and will start off with a twin so first thing when I see twins is Viking Bricks one because obviously everyone is tired from this current meta and everyone awaits balance changes so they will hopefully drop soon because like I've explained previously or not, uh, the T-Rex texture changed, the uh, balloon texture got glitched, so apparently developer is working on some balancing, I mean not balancing but some changes into the game and hopefully those are good changes because we were awaiting them for a while right now. So he's gonna be playing Viking and I kinda predicted that it's gonna be poison and a very aggressive one but I don't think I can easily punish it because I'm low on mana as well and uh, I don't have cemetery in rotation right now so I'll have to cycle two more cards. I think what I'm gonna do is play a swordsman against this ghost and I'm gonna just attack with that. If he's playing piercing archer I'm gonna be fine with that even if he plays it at the bridge but right now he, he isn't playing so it's gonna give me even more reason to play cemetery and right now no matter what troop he plays I'm gonna freeze them both and that's gonna be a lot of cemetery value so right now you see why this deck is so cheesy you basically keep these freezes hidden for the per perfect opportunity and even though he had a blitz he could have had a poison and poison is way better response against a cemetery than a blitz is because I still get 1k damage and it's already a very nice damage lead for me. I'm gonna just split my archers here, wait for him to make a move. He plays a ghost and right now I don't think the same trick will work twice. So I'm gonna just slow play with a 
with a skeleton hut. I try to play a swordsman outside of the poison range so it doesn't get damaged but unfortunately because of that one footman has split and uh, it wasn't too successful. I'm gonna play freeze here to kill this gunner hopefully. I would love to get a kill on that. I won't get a kill on... Okay, and now I'm gonna get a kill on that because of the Symmetry Skeletons. So yeah, I'm gonna get the upper hand in this matchup right now. These twins will suicide themselves in the Skeleton Hut. Skeleton Hut currently, I think, actually is the best counter to, <coughs> to the twins. Obviously, Skeleton Hut can be predicted, can be spelled out, but... Apart from that, it's a very solid counter and I think it's like my favorite counter to the twins because even though it doesn't counter push, it actually kinda helps with defending other bridge spam cards so it's just very versatile and I like it because of that. GG, well played, we're gonna hop to the game number 3 of today's video. And right now we're gonna face out Mysterious Mind who has 23 medals and I don't uh, remember last time I've seen Mysterious Might with uh, 23 medals. I believe this dude was for a long time a top 10 player, so it must uh, be his old account or someone is just stealing his personality. We're gonna see though if it's the real Mysterious Might from his gameplay. He's gonna play Precinct Archer, so I'm gonna assume it is actually a Mysterious Might because. He has this game sense where to go aggressive and that was definitely the case. I had to play this swordsman very early and that allowed uh, him to play piercing archer because I didn't have skeleton hut and obviously like I said skeleton hut is currently in my opinion at least the best counter to a to the twins. So that was uh, a card I needed in the defense. That's why I was cycling. So we're gonna be pretty even right now. I'm gonna actually play bullets on these devils just because I can and I think if I didn't do so my cycle would be weird so I might as well I'm gonna play I'm gonna play actually super devil right now I'm gonna keep the swordsman because ground tanks are very important in this matchup you kinda don't want to run out of it I'm gonna play right now the swordsman because he tried to get a sneaky sneaky blitz he's gonna play piercing archer but it's not gonna be too Effective piercing archer and right now I think I have the momentum where I can go for the cemetery so I'm gonna play bullets to kill these devils and with that being said I think that's gonna be a very successful cemetery because it's gonna get a lot of damage and there we go We already have the advantage very nice. I probably could have just waited a little bit and play a freeze but I'm already happy with the result right here I'm gonna play actually archers followed up with swordsmen. Good recognition by him that I don't have a good response against his swordsmen. But it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna get into a good response anyway. I'm gonna play a footman keg to kill his piercing archer. And he's gonna even give me value with bullets. Very cool to see. I'm gonna split archers because right now it is him that has to attack me and not the other way around. I'm gonna play the skeleton hub to counter the twins and the uh, swordsman to just cycle and right now I'm gonna just play footman keg, I'm gonna play cemetery I'm gonna try to get something done even if I if I don't have to I'm gonna play archers here he's gonna actually get devils very late I'm gonna freeze anyway because he used a blitz and these skeletons will get just enough damage to pretty much secure me this win I'm gonna play a swordsman here I'm gonna follow up with the skeleton hut very late and okay that was that was actually a nice kiting right here. I'm gonna get some action going here. Unfortunately the thief will connect, so that was a nice thing for him. I'm gonna play the swordsman against his ghost. I would love to get the cemetery going, but I think he's gonna try to predict it, and there we go. We're gonna get a skeleton hut. <coughs> and right now everything is going swimmingly except like this skeleton hut will die that's a little thing that will suck but nothing to be worried we still have a crap ton of advantage we're gonna play cemetery and he's gonna actually give up so that's gonna be a very clean win for us and very well played by mysterious it looks like he actually is smurfing so we're gonna get a four out of it but i didn't expect more so yeah ggs well played let's hop to the next game
and it looks like we're gonna get another game against Mysterious, so let's play the Swordsman in the back since he played a fifth here, and yeah, let's let's just have a good game, shall we? I'm gonna play Freeze of Defense because it's not a surprise uh, card anymore anyway, so I might just as well play it, and also I did have a bad cycle, so I kinda had to compensate somehow for that, I'm gonna right now play a... Super Devil and a Swordsman, he's just abusing the fact that I have a bad cycle, but somehow I managed to persevere, I hope that won't uh, come bite me into the future, I'm gonna get one kill on the Devil, which is very cute, but I don't think it's, it's very comfortable, so, he's gonna be playing actually a Thief, so, and he's gonna get a connection on, oh my god, okay, so, now comes this bad situation where I have to kinda, manage my <coughs> mana he's kind of selling out on the fact that i had very bad starting hand and it's gonna be 1000 damage for him absolutely fair i expected more so the fact that i only got 1000 damage on my tower is absolutely enough the only bad thing is right now he kind of expects me to attack into him and not the other way around so we don't have the comfort of sitting back and defending from the previous game so he's just he's just a little trick here he just cycles spells because he knows he can i'm gonna kite with archers i have no problem with playing passive right now even though i have to get the damage eventually I have no problem with just sitting back and doing nothing because at the end of the day I know I can just play Cemetery at the last second and it's gonna be very hard for him to defend. So he's gonna be playing Viking here, I'm gonna play Super Devil on that and I think that's a good moment to just play a Swordsman and try to bait out some response out of him. He actually overcommits on that so that's gonna be very cool for us. I'm gonna play Skeleton Hut here, and he's gonna get a lineup, so that was something I was a bit scared about. But see, he's gonna get a lineup against my Super Devil, but at the same time, I think we're gonna eventually get a... get uh, things going nicely. I'm gonna play Bullets here. He still has to fear the Freeze, and I'm gonna absolutely play the Freeze because I need the damage. He should be playing Blitz, but he isn't, so he's gonna suffer a lot of damage. This Super Devil also will connect to the tower, maybe? Okay, no. It will kill the ghost, that's also fine. I'm happy with that trade. And right now we're just in the end game where I think I'm just better because he still has to attack into me and that's always, always nice. I'm gonna right now try to defend and this defense will be very tight, am I say? Complementing my own defense, obviously not the most humble thing I can do, but at the same time I've done a good job, so I might as well. I'm gonna play Freeze here, he plays Twins to defend, he very fears my bullets, but he should have played these Devils because, well, he will uh, receive even more damage if he doesn't play them. I think that's gonna pretty much uh, mark the end of the game. Uh, he will do one uh, one last desperate attack and whether he succeeds or not will mark whether I win or not. Well, I think that was obvious. I'm gonna play uh, the Skeleton Hut because he doesn't have time to play another set of twins. I'm gonna get my bullets, I'm gonna get my freeze and that's gonna mark the end of the game. That was a very nice play out of him he actually made this game challenging due to my bad cycle at the start i think i actually have the upper hand in this matchup because of the skeleton hut which is like good against every single card in his deck except like devils and piercing archer but it's good against four cards so the more skeleton huts i play the better situation is and if you don't have it in the first hand it's gonna be very hard for you to defend just uh, an upcoming slaughter so GG, well played, we're gonna hop to the last game of this video. And this time we're gonna get the game against Human, so... I've met Human a couple times uh, on ladder, I believe I've even played some games against him in a video, but I still didn't recognize his playstyle or his deck, so... I'll need some reminder, and he starts with a Bomber, which is like very flexible and underrated card in my opinion. 
There's no reason to play more cards right now, I'm gonna just wait for a bit and then play Super Devil because why not? He's gonna play T-Rex, so I think he's gonna be playing a Splemetry, but I still can be wrong, so this is gonna be a Cemetery versus Cemetery matchup, and in this one I think he actually has a matchup advantage, because he will be able to defend my pushes, while I won't be able to defend uh, his if he executes them correctly. So I'm gonna play archers here to kill this uh, T-Rex, now green, very fun gimmick, but yeah, we're indeed gonna be having a matchup of two splemetries, I mean two cemeteries, and we're gonna see who's gonna come out on top, because <clears throat> I'm genuinely interested to see how is game, uh, how can he play this matchup, because I'm pretty sure he knows I'm playing either balloon or cemetery, and unfortunately the swordsman is just blocking the T-Rex uh, from the range of the tower, so I'm gonna just uh, play the archers, bait out the cyclone, that's very good trade for me, I think. And with that being said, I'm gonna just play bullets, hope to bait his uh, aggression, maybe. Mm, he, he's not doing anything, I'm gonna play swordsman here. He's probably stacking some troops, I'm gonna play the super devil here. I'm gonna, okay, he's just uh, stacking the advantage, so he probably knows that he cannot get counter pushed in this matchup, so I'm gonna just play Archer, stack everything for a beautiful cyclone for him, and right now I'm gonna just go for the cemetery myself. So he's playing poison against it, and it's absolutely the correct call. Because uh, in this matchup, as a splemetry player, you don't have to be aggressive. I have to be the aggressive one, that's why I'm just throwing these bullets, I'm throwing these attacks. Because I know when it comes down to the wire, it's gonna be very hard for me to just come back with the damage. And right now he goes in, which I don't... I'm not a huge fan of this decision, but at the same time it's not bad, because I didn't have my archers in cycle, and he actually gets his damage. So, I'm gonna throw another set of bullets. I'm gonna go for another cemetery. Hope to get something out of that. He throws the poison, so he's gonna be this type of guy that kinda... <coughs> Depends on the RNG, and so far his RNG is pretty decent, I would say. I'm gonna try to defend like this now. Try to defend the cemetery, get the archers going, so... It's gonna be nice and easy defense, there we go. I'm gonna get another bullet, because like you probably see, I'm getting a lot of damage from these bullets, and he probably should start getting a poison on my tower as well. I'm gonna right now just get a very solid defense right here and he should be throwing a poison right here because I don't think he has time for another cemetery. He doesn't, he throws the poison, it's pretty much the last poison he can throw. I'm gonna throw a freeze so my skeletons will stack and that's gonna be GG well played. Very nice matchup. I've done what I should have done, he've done what he should have done, but executed it slightly inaccurately. Sometimes I think he could have been just more aggressive in this matchup, he paid too much respect to me and that pretty much costed him a game. So yeah, that's gonna be the video for you guys uh, with a very cheesy deck, which is uh, Cemetery Freeze. And let me know, guys, in the comments if you enjoyed this type of content, if you want to see more solid stuff, or maybe even some other things in uh, Boom Arena. I recently recorded a full card tier, full card tier list. Every card was ranked uh, for now where it stands, in my opinion, in the meta. Obviously, you can, guys, check it out if you want to know uh, my opinion about your favorite card. And yeah, leave the comment down below if you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow in the next episode of Boomerina.